Hello everybody, my name is Zeva the Jester, and today I'm going to be telling you about some awesome new town mods. Let's get right into it, because I hate long intros. Let's get going then. The first mod is called Granite Hill by John Rose, 81. You can find Granite Hill right here on the map, right behind Sunderstone Gorge, and not a very far walk from Falkreath. Granite Hill has its own blacksmith, its own town, guard barracks, and a couple of... Uh, other NPC homes for you to explore. It has an inn and it has a guard tower for the guards to look upon the roads just to make sure everybody stays safe and no intruders enter the town as well. I really like the way this small town looks. I think it's a very simple, it's a very nice little concept and it's just a nice little place to stop by. It really does go well with other texture mods, such as Julia's Dirt Replacer and Julia's Farmhouse Replacer. So these are all good mods that you could also have installed while you have these, so they just look better. It's a really nice little mod. It even goes as far as to rename the guards to Granite Hill Guard, and it has a couple other named NPCs. Even has a couple of customized shops, such as the Oddities and Curiosities shop and the other shop which is right across the street from there this is the Granite Hill General Goods Store this is also a split government town which means Valkyrie Wall owns the actual town Markarth has an influence what I like most about this mod is that it seems simple it doesn't seem like it's out of place and it just seems like it would actually be in the realm of Skyrim I like it when mods are not as obvious as they seem I like it when mods are a little bit subtle and doesn't actually look like a mod. It looks like it's actually supposed to be in the vanilla game. I really like this mod. It just looks really nice and it looks like it belongs. So definitely give this mod a shot. The next mod is called Amber Guard. This mod is one of those lore based mods that I really think is very, very underrated. The story behind Amber Guard is that it is one of those very old towns that fell after the events of Arena. This is now a place where bandits live, they just kind of hang out, and squatters are all over the place. This mod can be used for radiant quests, and you will actually be sent here to collect bounties and other little miniature quests that you get when you play the game. When you get here, bandits will have already settled in, and this will allow you to just go up and clear them out, so it is also a bandit quest but it is also technically a new town for you to explore. While the original story of this town is extremely sad, it is still very cool to look at and it is very, very mysterious in its own right. Definitely one of the more depressing yet mysterious towns that you could download and if you think this is all it has to offer, you're wrong there is more to this as well. If you go to this house right here you'll actually discover a hatch right here and now I have never been here before so me and the and the guys and the boys and the girls and the okay who's throwing axes over there me and our and our little brigade of degenerates are gonna go diving in and see what we can find in here I wonder what's down here Uh oh, more enemies. Sir, your rent is due. Journal. Damn, we got some lore. We'll be keeping this. After you're done clearing, it comes with some nice leveled loot for you to take. And this now becomes a location for where you could get radiant quests and just a nice little dungeon crawl. You can find Amber Guard right here on the map just south of Rorikstead. Probably one of the more mysterious yet sad but lore accurate town mods that you can install. So definitely give this mod a shot. Next mod is called Village of Old Hrolden. What this mod is going to do is it is going to build a very small village around the inn of Old Hrolden. Literally two houses. It still looks very nice though. 
essentially this mod just gives homes to the NPCs that work the inn and then the NPCs they just come and use the inn and then that's that it's still a very nice looking village and it just looks very nice in all honesty there isn't much to it other than that it just adds the NPCs homes and that's really all there is to it but I think it's a very nice small detail so you should definitely give this mod a shot if you visit Old Hurlden every now and then and just think it's boring or if you're just on the road and you stumble upon it you can find Old Hurlden right here on the map now I'm gonna be straight it took me a little while to actually find this one but the last one is called Yesne Island. Now, this is a mod that's been out for quite a bit, but it is a very, very big mod. And that's why I wanted to save it for last. You can find it in Dawnstar right here on your map. And you can just fast travel right there. But you're going to get onto this big boat right in the middle, and there's going to be a hatch right here in between the beds. So, I have a feeling everybody knows where I'm going in... Sven is... I don't know what he's doing. Sven is getting ready to run far the fuck away from whatever we're about to see here. So, let's get into this. Welcome to Yune Island. This is a completely new town, dungeon, whole new play area. A new place for you to explore. I really like the way this town looks. It is a town that is just built straight on the water so they could sail out and do whatever pillaging will they please. Just whatever pirating and pillaging they want to do, they are set up right by the water and this allows them to just go and sail off whatever time they want. It's got its own pretty unique design and I really do like that about this mod because it's just a bigger area for you to explore and it's got its own towns. We'll go through that in a moment. All right. Damn. What? All in all, this is a very, very awesome mod for you to explore a new area. And it comes with its own town. So definitely give this mod a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, yo.